All right, well, it's a little awkward. Kind of debated even uh, making this video because I, it's really not a big deal. But, you know, a few weeks ago, Seed Studio announced an e-paper display based on the Seed Zhao. And whenever I saw the pictures, I mean, it kind of looks uh, heavily inspired by a project that I did. As a matter of fact, my video titled uh, Making an E-Paper Dashboard for ESP Home is like the second most viewed video on my entire channel. Um, it's got, you know, 275,000 views. It's been out there for not quite a year and a half. And like, I mean, the video made the rounds, you know, like I said, it's my second most viewed video. It, it even I saw recently on a Yahoo article, it got featured. But, you know, seeing them release this product is a little odd. Not that I really care or think that like I own the concept. It's not like, hey, I'm the definitely not the first person that ever made an e-ink display for ESP Home or a dashboard. I even mentioned in the description of my video that I was heavily inspired by a project from uh, Madalena, who I believe is actually involved with uh, ESP Home or Home Assistant. And so, you know, what I did notice though is looking at their product is how similar it is to my specific version. Uh, the aesthetics, obviously extremely similar. They're using the same display, um, or at least the same exact uh, size of display. They're using even a very similar internal layout. Now theirs is battery powered, but like even where they're locating the ESP32 within the frame is kind of in the same place as, as what I did. And like, I, again, I want to stop short of saying that there's really anything negative. I'm actually a pretty big fan of Seed Studios products. I use their Seed Zhao's in everything, right? I've got like 10 or 15 Seed Zhao's running around here because I've got them in my water sensors. I've got them in my outdoor moisture sensors. I put one in my little solar powered weather station, uh, my, my Bluetooth scale for my espresso machine, the internal switch on the espresso machine. Like seriously, I got seed jowls all over the place. Um, and so again, I'm not like knocking them as a company. I like what they do as a company. I, I think maybe all I really would have liked to have seen is maybe just a bit of attribution. Again, maybe, maybe that's too dramatic and I'm making too much out of it, but like, you know, it's open source stuff. You know, I've posted the code out there. And again, I, I don't feel like I own the idea of these e ink dashboards by any stretch, because again, I was basing my stuff off of somebody else's work. And a lot of the stuff they did allowed me to do what I did. But attribution is important, I feel like, because, um, you know, nobody, nobody really is getting paid for this stuff. Now, I actually have made money off that project just because it ended up getting so many views. But um, the vast majority of my videos never make money. And overall, my channel definitely does not make money. Um, it runs heavily to loss. And so just a little bit of attribution, I think, is something that I would have liked to have seen in their stuff. And you might think, well, they, they may have no idea even who I am, right? Maybe I'm being egotistical, except uh, I, I know that Seed Studio is at least aware of my channel. And the reason I know that is because whenever I made uh, the video on leak detectors and I used a seed gel, that ended up on their Instagram. And whenever I used a seed gel for my automated coffee grinder project, that ended up on their blog. So um, I'm on the radar somewhere because a couple of my projects that use their products have been featured on their social media stuff. And so I, clearly they're aware of the channel. And again, this being my second most popular video, I find it extremely unlikely that when they're working on this project and they're doing what they're doing, that they weren't aware that it was out there. And so I, I don't know, like I said, I'm not trying to make a big deal out of it. I'm certainly not claiming ownership over the concept, but it is kind of weird when you see a company who in the maker space is, is pretty big player. Cause I mean, if, if you didn't know, like Seed Studio um, it is kind of a big deal in the ESP Home community. So uh, Seed actually is the company that makes the Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition. Like if you go look up the schematics, 
they say Seed Studio on it. So again, they're, they're heavily involved with ESP Home and Home Assistant and the community that, that kind of is there. And so I, I guess I, just part of me, again, just feels like it would have been nice to at least gotten like a shout out on that. Because again, it, it's just my opinion and maybe you disagree with me, but looking at their e-paper panel, it does not just look like it's influenced by the general community and what else you see out there with ink dashboards and ESP home. It looks very specifically influenced by the one that I did. Um, and again, being, being a corporation that is out there and doing this and heavily involved, it just would have been really cool for them to at least do some sort of shout out or give me just a little bit of attribution for that. Because again, it just looks so heavily influenced by my specific design. It would have it would have meant something to me, right? It, it's always cool, um, you know, whenever I see my projects out there in the world where it's like I see them sometimes on blogs or I'll see them on posts or other people talk about on forums. I mean, that that is a, a very positive reinforcement whenever I do these sorts of projects, because, again, I do this stuff as a hobby. I'm doing this for fun. I do YouTube videos for fun. I'm not necessarily chasing clout, but when you do something that has an influence, it's always nice to see that. And again, when you see something like this, it's it's nice to see it out there. It would have been better to have that confirmation that, yeah, this is heavily influenced by this maker's project. We decided to turn this into a commercial product, right? I, I think that would have been great. I'm not asking for anything other than that. You know, and, and again, lest you think I'm like harping on seed and I'm like really mad about this, I'm really not. It's a small thing, but it again, I sat on it for a couple weeks, said, so you know what? I'll make a video about it. Um, that's the least I guess I can get out of it, but... Um, Again, lest you think I'm down on them, I think it's a pretty good deal. $69 plus shipping. Um, it's on back order, so you might not be able to get one. But compared to building it yourself, that's really not a bad deal. Um, 70 bucks for that thing. Again, compared to, well, if you do it yourself. Well, if you do it yourself, the, the WaveShare panel that I used is... 45 to 50 dollars just for the panel and if you want the little hat the the interface board you know that's that's over 60 dollars just for the display and the interface board and then you'd have to have an esp32 you're looking for another you know five to ten bucks there pretty easy then you'd have to do your 3d printing of your enclosure and so like them selling it for 70 dollars is cheaper than you can make this yourself and it's going to be better because you're going to have a professional enclosure, not a 3D printed one. And, you know, it comes with a battery. It's got, you know, the ESP32 already in it. Um, and so to me, like, it's a good product. Um, I'm not knocking it. If you're interested in one of these dashboards, I'd say, hey, man, that is the one I would try to get. Um, so I'm not like mad mad. You know, I, I'm not saying, hey, you should boycott them or anything like that. Uh, that's silly. But... It, it would have been cool, Seed, would have been cool to get that shout out because it looks to me for all the world like you basically took uh, a project that I did very specifically and turned it into a commercial product and didn't really say anything about kind of where you got that kind of influence. So um, again, if you think I'm crazy and overreacting and egotistical and it's, you know, nothing at all. And again, I'm not saying it's a big deal. But um, I, I am saying it looks at influence. So if you think I'm wrong, if you think, nope, that's not influenced by your stuff at all, they probably didn't even look at my project whenever they designed it. It's just everything out there looks like that. Uh, you are free to leave your opinion down below because I'm no stranger to people uh, posting corrections to my opinions here. So uh, like I said, I don't want to make too big of a deal out of it. That's just my opinion. Uh, Figured I'd make a video just to point it out. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, video's been slow lately. I've got some bigger stuff on the back burner, but it'll probably be uh, later this summer before any cool new projects really come out. Uh, in the meantime, hope you're enjoying the warmer weather. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.